Good morning, guys. Well, in true Andrew, good luck fashion, my mic was not working for this first clip, so you have to do with the voiceover. So today we're at Othello Tunnels, just outside of Hope, BC. It's an historic tunnel as it was on the KVR Railway. It also re was recently on the news as in November 2021, after the huge, huge rainfall flooded the Fraser River, it flooded, of course, the tunnels. There was actually an RV stuck in the tunnels. That's how much rain came through. So they've been working for years and years and years. And in June this year, the tunnels were finally opened back up. Now, I was hoping it was going to be the full tunnels, but unfortunately, it's just part of the tunnels. So there's five tunnels in a row. And unfortunately, we're only going to get to see the first two tunnels. But it's better than nothing. It took a lot of work to get to this place. So let's get on with the adventure. DJ, can you please roll that intro? Hey, everybody. My name is Andrew Adley. After a workplace accident, I was left as a bump knee amputee. I had a decision to make. Get busy living or get busy dying. Obviously, you only have one life, so I made a decision to get busy living, exploring every opportunity that's presented to me. Tune in every week for different adventures, both from accessibility standpoint to adventures with my family and friends. And every adventure begins with one leg at a time. So, because we're in the Fraser Valley and they get lots of rain, there's a lot of tree coverage here. So, like it shows on the screen, the lower mainland Fraser Valley area gets 1,600 millimeters annually. Give you an idea where I'm from in Kamloops, which is about three hours from Vancouver, we get about 167 millimeters. So big, big difference, but then we get a pile of snow in the cold weather. So pick your poison. Almost a tropical kind of area. So the only downside of front drives is just like the name says, it's front drive. So pulling up hills, a big bone body like me, it likes to spin. So a lot of times I take run at hills or I go backwards. You kind of get normal to going frontwards or backwards. It is what it is. So it's a super wide path getting in. It's almost like a, you could drive a vehicle in here. I guess it, back in the day, there was a train route, so that would make sense. <laughs> I thought it'd be more like my Nermata video, where it's a lot skinnier, but I'll put a link to the bloop bloop down below. See what that looked like. So the trail we're going on today is the old KVR Railway. KVR stands for Kettle Valley Railway. And it was built because they were worried in 1915 of all our minerals being exploited by the United States. So they built a railway. The railway was used primarily for moving ore and fruit and forest products to the ship borders. But with air travel becoming a lot more affordable, the last train whistle was rang in 1964 and the railway went defunct. Today the railway grounds are owned by the provincial government. So this is a shot using Rudy and you can see how much the river actually shifted during the flood. See all the rocks to the right and they're trying to dig it out and get the road back, but it's crazy what Mother Nature can do.
Well, hey there, guys. So this is going on the path to the to the tunnel, and that's the river that caused all these problems. As you can see, it's flowing pretty good, but can you imagine from that rainfall? That's probably I don't know, 20 feet down, and this filled all up and flooded. So they've had to re grade all this path, put the rip, rip wrap in it. There's Kenzie and Lisa up on the rocks. Just incredible what Mother Nature can do. You know, you just you don't mess with her. So this is going up to the tunnel here. You can see the tunnel straight in front of us there. There's the creek running. So I think it's about November when the creek overfilled. I'll put a news clip here of it. On this Wednesday night, BC declares a state of emergency. We had more rain in two days than we normally get in an entire November. Fears a critical pumping station could fail. The people defying Merritt's evacuation order and the lengths farmers are going to try to save their livestock. Just incredible, guys. Well, hey there, guys. So we're about to enter tunnel number one. Well, it's a lot bigger than the ones in Nermada and a lot more rustic. The rocks look a lot more, not as smooth as the one in Nermada, so we'll find out what it's like. It's a little bit longer, I think, too, so it's a little bit darker, but let's get through the tunnel. So this lady used to work for BC Parks here, guys, and she gave me a lot of history. This is, I'll put a clip up here, but this is um, through the second tunnel here is where Rambo First Blood was filmed. So he was actually hanging from this tunnel. And she was also saying that the water actually filled up this tunnel. And there's a clip, I'm gonna see if I can find it, but of an RV stuck in this tunnel. Oh my God, the temperature just dropped like 10 degrees. I'm gonna have to turn the lights on. Oh, not that one. That one? No, not that one. You provide the light to the people. Exactly. <laughs> I just charge them a little bit for it. <laughs> Have a good day, sir. Oh my God, guys. You can actually see on the roof here all the soot from the steam trains coming through here. So she was saying it's 1928 is when this came through here. The, the, and, it, and it was the KBR back then. So you can see um, Gump's light. That's the only light you'd see here. It's just so dark, so cool. These old rocks. It's just so cool. I don't know if it's gonna show up on film. I should have brought another light. Gum's light is pretty good here, actually. So the tunnel itself is probably, I'll put a clip up here, but it's probably 40 feet high. But it's fairly skinny. It's probably, I don't know, eh, maybe 20 feet. No, maybe less than that wide. So you can imagine how thin the, the trains were back then. So they, there's actually five tunnels in a row that come through here and then they link up to the town of Hope downtown. So cool. 
So once again, we're at the Othello Tunnels, right outside of Hope, BC. It's about 187 kilometers from Kamloops. Oh, just felt the drop of, of condensation off the walls. It's so cool. It's funny, you know, I've driven by this so many times going to Vancouver and not really thought anything about, about it, but now I know this is here. Definitely got to be a must-see. So I don't know what that is, an old piece of wood that's bolted in. It says 157-7. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find what that number means. Maybe one of you guys will know from train experience. I'd love to know. Okay, and this is where Ramble was hanging down. And you can see the soot marks on the, on the front of the tunnel. That's so cool. So, if you guys look down here, way down there, that's where the river was. And you can imagine from that rainstorm, she was saying in 1988 did the same thing. So, it was a log jam back then, but in 20. 2021. I'll put a clip up here, but that's when it actually overflowed into the tunnels itself. Too bad it looks like half of it's closed, but I'll send my selfie stick up and I see if I can see right over top of it. I'll show you the work they're doing on the other side, and that's all from that rainstorm. Just incredible. I love history and I love seeing these old tunnels. A lot different than the other tunnels we saw in Nomada. Um, a lot more rustic than theirs. You can see the rock they had to do to go through in order to get. Look at the how thick the rock is. Now they put these giant connections in to stop the rock from peeling away from the walls. It's incredible. If you're ever near Hope BC, I highly suggest you guys come here. So, thank you so much for going on this vlog with me and this journey to uh, fellow tunnels outside of Hope, BC. I do encourage you guys, if you're ever in this area, to have a look at it. It's completely free. It's in BC Parks area. Unfortunately, I'm gonna fly Rudy over the river, but I can't fly in the actual parks because it's, it's reserved um, airspace. So if you guys would consider it, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I release videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Fridays are just shorts, Wednesdays and Sundays are full length ones. If not, then I just appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much, and we'll see you on the next one. And remember, one leg at a time.